Welcome to the Big Ticket, EPC South getting us going. I'm Dan, he is Jim. We will stay in the EPC South. So Nazareth likely the number one seed in District 11 6A. But I'll tell you what, no one is going to overlook the Parkland Trojans. Parkland knows a thing or two about winning this time of year. The later it gets, the better they seem to play, at least traditionally. Uh, facing their arch rival tonight, a theme of tonight as well, these rivalry games, and a Mayus team that looked awfully impressive, maybe their best win of the year last week against Bethlehem Catholic. Trojans on a five-game winning streak. At five and four, Emmaus had been that typical box of chocolates team this season. You never quite know what you're going to get except for a solid running attack by Brandon Kamiri. Meanwhile, Parkland was looking to notch their sixth straight victory. And with the exception of a four-point win over Nazareth, they had been winning by convincing margins. The Green Hornets would punt on their opening possession. Parkland starts their first drive on their own 48. Eight plays later, fourth and five. Ty Tremba puts it up for Luke Dauberman. He's going to haul it in 25 yards later for six. 5.03 left in the first. The Trojans with a 7-0 lead. In the second, Tremba at midfield does it himself. He tucks and runs, plays Pac-Man, gobble, 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 eating up 35 yards till he's finally brought down on the Emmaus 15. And four plays later, they would cash in. Isaiah Rico busting through from three yards out. Midway through the second, the Trojans with a 14-0 advantage. Then they do it on defense. Emmaus' next possession, Jake Fada dropping back. But he's in trouble. Zion Johnson licks his chops and brings him down for a loss of seven. Green Hornets would punt, but they'd get it back quickly. Tremba throws, but Emmaus gets the tip, and Jameel Sanders gets the pick and returns it to the Parkland 26. They would get to the three, but would have to settle for this James Orlando field goal as time expired. The Trojans head into the break up 14 to three, and Parkland would get the ball coming out to start the third, and they waste little time. Third play from scrimmage, Ty Tremba dropping back, buying a little time, and hooking up with a wide open John Siggins. He plants the rock in the Magic Garden 59 yards later, making it look easy. A buck 31 into the third. The Trojans with a commanding 21-3 lead. They'd tack on a 35-yard Humza Iman field goal on their next possession. Parkland wins back the Cedar Crest Cup tonight, 24-3, wrapping up the regular season with an 8-2 record. Yeah, I thought our defense played lights out. We were aggressive flying to the ball. He's a great running back. You know, we limited him a little bit, and that was just swarming to the ball. Uh, threw a couple different packages in there to mix things up, and uh, it was one of our best efforts of the year on defense. In our field, I'm Dave Lesko for the Big Ticket. All right, so those Parkland Trojans, uh, as you mentioned, yeah. they are just peaking at the right time. They were banged up early in the year. They had those couple of losses early, but yeah, just on fire, six in a row. And it looks like they're going to be probably the three seed again. We'll have to see what happens. Freedom, Liberty tomorrow. Emmaus is in. Looks like they're going to be the seven seed.